Hey, look at your neighbor say if you speak failure if you speak failure, you, will fail. you will fail and this is not a concept that motivational speakers came up with this is a biblical principle in the beginning god spoke and it was there is power in the spoken word and i'm encouraging everybody that is here begin to say about you what god says about you okay. begin to say about your situation what god says about your situation when people ask you how are you tell them i am blessed and faithful even when you are broke don't say I'm broke say I am temporarily in convenience even when you're broke don't give us the language of uh, at I'm broke and things no I am it's temporary hallelujah even when people come to borrow you money and you don't have don't say between me and poverty I have this between me and my next level tell your neighbor between me and my next level <laughs> And you know me, if there is a nation that I respect and that challenged my confession, I told you, it is Nigeria. Those people know how to talk big. Eh, I have never met a Nigeria that talks small. All of them, if you meet a normal housewife and you say, what do you do? She will tell you, I am a domestic engineer. If you meet a tea boy and you say, what do you do? They'll tell you, I am a refreshment director. If you meet a receptionist and you are like, what do you do? I am a front desk controller. If you meet a hawker, somebody that does not have a shop, -o, tell your neighbor they don't have a shop. -o. It means they are selling here and there. And you say, what do you do? They will tell you, woman of God, I am a general supplier. change your mentality change your mentality some of you have killed your miracles by your words yes. your mentality determines your reality yes. tell your neighbor change your mentality change your mentality i told you that one day when i was going to preach i was invited to preach uh, in one church in a mercy tabernacle in lagos and uh, that day the protocol team of the church that was coming to receive us came earlier I remember very well when the protocol said we are waiting for you at the hotel lobby. So immediately we were leaving so that we could use the lift and join them at the lobby. But before, when we reached at the lift, before we could press the lift, hallelujah, there was a guy inside. So the lift opened coincidentally as we reached. So I looked at the guy inside the lift and I said to him, are you going down? The man looked at me. He said, I can never go down in life. Hey. He said, it is the lift that is going down. Hey. I was speechless for two seconds. I said, this is a man with revelation. I had to compose myself and I said, sir, I am sorry. I was asking about the lift. And you will never go down in life. Turn to your neighbor, tell them, I will never go down in life. I will never go down in life. So, tell your neighbor, I will never go down in life. Never go down in life. Hey, the devil is a liar. So begin to say about you what God says about you. When you wake up in the morning, prophet, I look at yourself in the mirror. Say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am blessed going in. I am blessed going out. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the country. Ah, I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the noon time. I am blessed in the evening. I am covered with favor. Shout it. 